Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on Nero Platinum 15. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Trip tool. And to do that I need to go to the Nero Platinum 15 icon on my desktop and I need to click. I need to come across to Nero Video icon and click. And then going to come down and I'm going to open a project that I've almost completed called Walks from Ratty. Ratty is a narrow gauge railway in West Cumbria and I'm going to click on that project and it will open it up in this screen here. Now I've nearly completed this project and I'm going to use the adjust the zoom factor slider and I'm going to slide that down to zero so that I can see the whole project. And I'm going to move this timeline marker to the part of the project that I'm interested in. And the part of the project that I'm interested in is this gap here. And I'm going to again use this zoom tool to increase the scale so I can see better what's happening and as you can see this video here has a crossfade and this video here has a crossfade and so I want to fill between this crossfade starting and that crossfade finishing and to do that if I move this marker along to this point here and look at this number over here I'm played to 5 minutes 9 seconds and if I move that marker to the end of the crossfade I've played the video for 5 minutes 21 seconds and a little bit which is basically 12 seconds and a little bit so I need 12 seconds of video and I'm going to use this um, adjuster to downscale the project so I can see and it's this video here that I want to use to fill that gap but if I bring this timeline along onto that video and then left click to highlight it so it knows that I'm working on that video and then right click I can open up this box and I can come to the top of it where it says trim and if I left click on that trim it opens up this trim tool and I want to work as accurately on this uh, video as I possibly can and so to do that I'm going to come to the top of the trim tool I'm going to left click and hold and I'm going to move this to the top left hand side of the screen and then I'm going to come across to the bottom right hand side and if I move the mouse around I eventually have two little arrows that expand and if I then click left click and hold and drag I can open up the tool to fill the whole screen so I can see what I'm doing far easier and I have a scale here that's telling me where the markers are that are going to trim this video and at the moment the marker is at the very beginning of the video and I'm going to play that video just to see where I want to trim from so I'm going to click play And I noticed playing this video that the first two seconds were a little bit wobbly as I started the camera. So I want to remove them. So I'm going to click to play for two seconds. And I've clicked to stop. And I've gone too far. I've gone um, just over the two second mark. So I can come to this little arrow which will move that timeline backwards by a frame each time I click 
and so by clicking I can simply move it to the two second point. Now I could grab hold of this marker and drag it along the line but I can come to this marking tool here and if I click on that marking tool it will move the timeline along to that two second point and I know it's two seconds because it says here mark in two seconds. Now I have to play this video for 12 seconds which will bring me to the 14 second point and then I'm going to stop. So I'm going to click to play and I've clicked to stop and again I've gone a bit too far so I'm just going to move that back just by clicking and I just want it over the 14 second mark. Now it suddenly shot along there, I don't know why it did that so I'm going to bring it back to that point and I'm going to move it along. I must have slightly strayed into this jump forward marker without realising it and that's where I want to trim to. So I'm going to come into this mark out tool and I'm going to click and I then have the 12 seconds and a little bit which is what I wanted of video that is going to be able to be played and it's telling me exactly how far out along the timeline this final timeline marker now is and so I could use this jump to marker tool to click on that and then I could click and I could preview the 14 seconds that I'm going to be trimming. So I'm going to click and I'm going to stop. Yes I'm happy with that. So what I'm now going to do is come over to here where it says OK and I'm going to left click and that video now has been reduced to the 12 seconds that we need for this project. So I'm going to move this marker along the timeline to the end of the crossfade. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag this video to that marker and now if I go to full screen and click I should be able to play by clicking and I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to close full screen and that is exactly what I wanted. I've got to say that the video sometimes plays a little bit jerkily because I'm working with 4K content and in this process it finds my machine finds it difficult to handle such high quantities of data but once this video is rendered it will play very smoothly. Now maybe I didn't like what I've achieved there. Maybe I decided that I want a different part of this video. I can bring the time marker on to the video. I can then right click. I can then go to trim and it brings me into the trim tool again. And I am exactly where I was when I clicked OK. But this time I want a different 12 seconds because I wasn't happy with those 12 seconds. So I can come to the slip button, I can click with the left mouse held down and I can move the slip tool along. And as I'm moving the slip tool the split screen left and right is showing me the first and the last frame and so I can move it along until I'm happy. I can let go and I now am able to cut that 12 seconds out of this video from a different part and if I was happy with that I can then click OK 
and if I just show you by moving this to the beginning of the crossfade and I go to full screen and I click to play it will play but it will play a different section of that video going to click to stop the video and then I'm going to close full screen so there we have it the trim tool is very accurate tool to use it has its uses and I hope that you will try this tool out because I found find it very useful I like to thank you for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time bye for now